All right. 1360s, Mike Costa back in studio for a second visit. Mike, thank you for accepting another invitation. Thanks for calling me again. Uh, 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 coffee here is fresh. Donuts are available. Uh, I, knew we, I knew we could lure you back. What was the hot topic on radio today? The This rash of uh, roughing the passer calls now uh, that are piling up in the NFL as we get ready for week four getting underway tomorrow night and how... It just defensive ends, defensive linemen, linebackers for that matter, just don't know what a roughing the passer is anymore. And I think they're being handcuffed by the NFL as the NFL goes and protects their marquee players. That seems to be a problem without a solution because what are you going to do? Back, throttle back and say, okay, you know what? Hit Tom Brady as hard as you want him. Right, go ahead and rip his head off. We, we were wrong with the, uh, you know, you can't because people tune in to watch Tom Brady and Tom Brady have success. So you've got to find that, that you know, happy ground, that gray area. But I don't know if there's a gray area there. I, I see that as, that's going to be a tough. They stepped in it again. Yeah, again. Uh, Aztec Hoops training camp open up. Uh, Brian Dutcher's second campaign. Here's video. Uh, the good news is Jalen McDaniels back on the court. Oddly enough, he was not available to media to the media today. I don't know why, and I probably have that wrong, but it, it's par for the course over there. Uh, how good will this club be now that Jalen is uh, back in the fold? They'll be a lot better now that he is back in the fold, I'll tell you that much. And, and I think everybody collectively who's an Aztec basketball fan uh, breathed a huge sigh of relief when you know he went through the process to see where he could possibly end up getting drafted and decided to come back. Another season of seasoning with him, maybe a chance to put on a little more weight, but good for Aztec basketball fans. Now we're going to know how good this team is right away. They, uh, no cupcakes on the uh, no. early por portion of the schedule. No, and that's you know I think Brian Judge would he'd want it that way. Yeah. Let's let's face some teeth right off the bat. All right, the anti-Charger sentiment was uh, very visible in the battle for <laughs> L.A. Uh, Ice Cube even tweeting this out, uh, retweeting this, right, and it got. Right. Gets, uh, you know, this Buddha says let let the hate go. I mean. <laughs> Forgive everyone everything. Yeah. No one's for. There's a lot of no. non-forgiveness going no. on up in San Diego the and Emperor in Star Wars said, "Let the hate flow," <laughs> and I think that's what most people are thinking about. So, how long can uh, is the hope for if you're a Spano? So you you're hoping that eventually this will peter out. Yeah, it, but the problem is this isn't Modell taking the Browns out of Cleveland, and there was that you know, time of hate that kindly subsided eventually because they knew they were getting a team back. You've got social media now. So this, the disgruntled San Diego Charger fan and let's say Timbuktu is thinking, well, you know, I'm really, I'm still mad, but now I have social media and I know I can help this guy's GoFundMe page to keep the signs flying. The problem's not going away. So, uh, you know, there are a lot of people younger than me with the last name Spanos. Uh, are they going to be, will the, will the decision become untenable that they'll some, at some point say, hey, this is not worth... The, and the rumors are starting to swirl up there in the Los Angeles that they might be getting ready to sell. I don't know why you get rid of an NFL team. It's, yeah, it's a license to print money. Yes. But they just have to realize that even when the new places open up, you're, you're going to be the renters in Inglewood. Nobody still up there wants you there. And things like this, the vitriol on social media, the signs flying over the stadium, it's going to continue. And it's continue to be a really bad uh, optic for the NFL. I can predict, I can suggest a scenario that's gonna make things worse. Next year, the Raiders are playing at the stadium formerly known as the Q, or the, currently known as the Cred, right. and they're packing the place, and they're not drawing anybody at uh, Carson. No, and that, and that we, we have seen what happens during Charger and Raider games in the past here. The Raider Nation takes over. If he, even if it's a team in turmoil like it is right now, the Silver and Black, if they were to say we're going to play here in 2019, the stadium would be full. Is that a situation the NFL can even afford? I mean, they have so many headaches. Yeah. The, the Spanos aren't the LA, if Cronkies can not want that to happen. No, Cronky and, and Spanos will get together, but Cronky's voice is the one that will be heard, and he'll be saying, listen, we're trying to get a foothold back in L.A. You can't let these guys go to San Diego. It'll be a fight with the ownership. So what happens is they work out another year with the folks up in Oakland? If, if the fact the city of Oakland doesn't file that lawsuit against the Raiders, if that happens, then all bets are off. Levi State, Levi Stadium doesn't want them. Uh, Stanford and Cal don't want the Raider Nation in their backyards on, on the weekends. UNLV, it's the surface of the sun in August and uh, in September. That's kind of an interesting, that's going to be uh, very interesting to see how that plays out. The NFL soap opera just continues to evolve. Take a peek at the graphic we're going to throw up here. The competition for the San Diego sports dollar is with the advent of the fleet, which mm -hmm. is the great name, by the way, the San, San Diego Seals. Uh, it's going to be an okay. We lost our NFL team, but you have a plethora. Assuming the MLS thing happens, uh, who's going to win in the uh, 
obviously the Padres have the uh, will get the lion's share. The right. Aztecs followed by them. But well, if the Padres continue to have seasons like they're having this maybe year, not, huh? that might come back a little bit. The thing is, Paul, they're all affordable. It's not $100 parking like it is at StubHub. It's not 150 bucks a game like it is at StubHub. Goals, the Aztecs, the Seals, the Fleet, soccer, it's all affordable. You can pick and choose. Would you trade that entire board for having an NFL team back? In a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that question was coming. Oh, hey, here, on a happier pottery note, okay. Trevor Hoffman finally getting a streak. Yeah. So this is now you get got your number retired. You, you get the plaque at Cooperstown. Right. You get the uh, you get your street. You get the statue. You're, now your street. Is that? I think that the it? bases are covered. Yeah, no, no Unless they're going to chisel a fifth head on Mount Rushmore for Trevor. You're you're pretty good. That ceremony is good. We're seeing the sign being made. That ceremony is going to take place Friday. Yeah. Uh, happen to a nicer guy. Yeah, so, it's, so that, that's... Oh, oh, but before... Let's leave here. We got Ryder Cup. Uh, Don King was sitting in that chair just an hour ago. He's our golf analyst, also works at Barona Creek. Okay. I, I asked a question. I'll follow up after you hear the soundbite. I'm representing their country, and they're playing for the country. They're not fighting for their country. They're playing golf for their country. So, yeah, and, and uh, you know, players get behind it. Wives get behind it. Coaches get behind it. It's become a big deal since the Europeans well, started it's winning. It's certainly a big TV event. The point was, Mike, yes. I find it off-putting when all the entourages and the, what I think is a celebration, excessive celebration, to me it's against the decorum of the sport, it's wrapped in the flag, and I, it just doesn't sit right with me. Am I just jaded? I'm not going to call you jaded, I'll just say you're wrong. It's the Ryder Cup. It's America versus Europe. We have to continually let Europe know we are the dominant country in all aspects of life. So if you're going to celebrate by wrapping up in, the, in a flag, go to a soccer game. Look at all those people doing it. I think it's okay for the Ryder Cup team to do it. So the answer is yes, you're jaded. <laughs> all right, tonight on the AS Air, uh, AS Air, AS Air uh, we have uh, four prep events that's all coming your way. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, tonight, 1045, on the All Sports Report. Back to my esteemed colleagues and on the Chris, news desk. Just for the record, Anna and I say that Paul's wrong all the time. It's so, fine. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs>